So taking screenshots obviously gives you a very, very cost-effective, time-effective way of getting a good reading of what your site's going to look like on different platforms and browsers. But remote access gives you a much more hands-on approach. This is another option that you have. So basically, you can choose to remotely access a machine at the browser cam servers, and you can use a Linux machine, a Apple machine, a Windows machine. You can choose the operating system. So you've got the full range of operating systems, primary browser, uh, obviously you've got all the browsers accessible as well and then you can access various software so let's just have a look and see what happens now you can access it using your own vnc client and those that know how to use that will fully appreciate the fact that you're given all of the information you need to access remotely the computers uh, at browser cam server using your own vnc platform if you don't have that or you prefer just a very quick way to get on board you can use a java vnc viewer which is bundled directly within the platform so here I am and I've chosen to have a look at Fedora Core and I'm accessing that now directly on the servers over at BrowserCam. So here's my Fedora Core and I've entered my password which is given to me at the top of the screen along with a username so it's completely foolproof. And then in real time I'm basically accessing that computer. As you can see the cursor just follows directly underneath my Windows cursor. You can see the Linux one there so we've got basically full control over that computer and lots of different browsers basically to try out within that operating system. So I'm just going to have a look at Firefox 1.5 because that's nice and stable and that's going to bring up the site and basically I can now fully use this computer at a distance and see exactly what my site's going to look like.